Welcome back. Buckle up. This is going to be a good one. That front lobby area you see is extremely crowded owing to the fact that I was not the only unpleased one or displeased one on the week we were there. So were the entire staff of the Moana Weston, sick and tired of how they'd been treated as well. And that, of course, led to major backlogs across all hotel operations, major operations being shut down altogether, and so on and so forth. Let's talk about it. First of all, this is the room. I mean, can I say unimpressive? I will say unimpressive. The room was extraordinarily tight, and I don't know if you saw that small view from the window, I mean, this was supposed to be a room with a view, and that is like the most laughable view I've ever had in a hotel. Admittedly, this was a last minute book, so I didn't have a chance to upgrade it all the way like I usually do at the hotels we stay. But still, I mean, the view is like the terrace of the lobby horrific the bathroom you know missing a tub very outdated white label toiletries which i hate when the toiletries do not disclose you know where they're actually from and who the manufacturer is you know like i feel like i'm slapping mayonnaise on my face when i use undisclosed lotions and things like that nonetheless you know the shower scummy not that clean you know the room again fairly outdated uh, fairly drab. There's a toilet. We've seen those before. These are just scenes from the common areas of the lobby. You know, to the right, you see some of the guys checking in there. I don't know them, by the way, just men that were there. Um, and here are, you know, there was, in theory, a nice amount of amenities in the lobby. You know, there was a spa, there were multiple shops, including shops with kids' toys, which I love, including jewelry stores, including souvenir stores, things like that. But most of those amenities were closed when we were there. Here's another angle of the lobby. So when you walk in to the right kind of thing, you have the check-in area. To the left, you have, you know, other amenities. And of course, to the back, you've got the ocean. Why did I book this? Why, oh why, did I book this place which I will never return to? I booked it because it was one of the few hotels oceanfront in Waikiki. However, let me tell you, that quickly bounced back on me because what I didn't realize, you know, I thought in the spirit of like a posh hotel kind of thing, there'd be rules about who can access, you know, the pool, for example, which yes, I know the water has, you know, nobody can own water kind of thing. People are welcome to swim there. That's not what this is about. But overall, there was like no effort made from the hotel. More people at the front of, you know, the beach area and even the pools, the Weston Zone pools seemed to be from other hotels than our own. Why did I pay for the amenities? Why did I pay for being beachfront? Just completely no effort. And I don't think that that had to do with staff. That just seemed like a general attitude based on how the off-site guests were treating it. Like they were very comfortable walking in and acting as if it was their own resort. And hello, did you see that jellyfish sticker? So when we stayed at the Kahala, which I'll link here, you know, we swam in the ocean, gorgeous. The beach in Waikiki infested with jellyfish. And what was the main kind of jellyfish? It was the Portuguese man of war, which is definitely on the spicier end. What you have just seen were scenes from individuals striking. I don't know if you felt that that was a big or a small group of people. This, to give you um, uh, FYI, was like the biggest strike that had taken place either in Hawaii or in the industry in decades. There were over 5,000 people on strike, including the entire Western staff, shall I use the word allegedly. But um, when you heard what they were complaining about or asking for, because complaining about is negative, when you heard what they're asking for, it was like heartbreaking. You know, the cuts that had been made to hotel staff requiring more labor of each individual worker. Meanwhile, no pay increase. If anything, I think, you know, pay cuts in, in 
comparison to what the hotel was making, just inhuman treatment. I don't mean to make a joke about it and say that very clearly I was not the only individual mistreated at the Westin, but um, very, very sad to see that, and I feel for those staff on strike. So the experience at the hotel was so unbearable that we actually made huge efforts to leave the hotel, including this experience that my Uber driver called the longest drive of his life. It took two hours to get to that park with the turtles, Honu as they're known in the local language. And of course they are like a sacred creature in the local culture, loved seeing them. At first I thought they were statues because that's how still they are. Another attraction, this is just for FYI purposes, was sea life. Of course, seeing the very special and sacred monk seals. I'd never seen one in real life. The Bishop Museum, that when I asked the local drivers, they said it was like the one museum, allegedly, on the island where the money goes back to the people, as opposed to some undisclosed individual somewhere in their private yacht on another corner of the world. And this is like outdoor scenery from the museum of course some food <laughs> highlights i mean it's you know it's a little hard when you are primarily vegan and you only eat fish kind of thing but of course poke in hawaii world famous thankfully a lot of seafood options there and the shaved ice actually loved it a little on the sweet side a little on the very sweet side but i always have people around me to share <laughs> these food items with so thank you for watching. I will leave it there. As I mentioned, this was not just a horrific Western experience. You know if you've watched this channel before, we also had the abominable Western experience in Panama. I'm just done with the hotel overall. I'm not going to name names. Every single department was unpleasant to deal with and I feel it's sad to say validated to see that I wasn't the only one struggling I mean the entire staff body of the institution is suffering but um, that's a very sad reality but human treatment at this hotel was not a thing from being made fun of at the beginning to giving you know my luggages to the staff members that asked to take my luggages and then when I asked for them back because you know we have kids items things like that they were like oh you didn't get a ticket luckily I have a photographic memory so I remember <laughs> my ticket number from being you know duped into paying like all these high last minute fees which when checking in that were not reported online if they were I would have gone to hotels that were more expensive overall but like all in kind of thing as opposed to all these last minute deposits resort fees this and that that honestly were competitive with the cost of the room overall being treated like garbage because uh, after that experience I had drained all the cash I had on hand and they were like okay so you don't get any credits to eat or dine here kind of thing seeing the struggles of the staff on strike and seeing management like raise the volume of music and things like that just to quiet down their staff their own staff sufferings and of course others just not very business savvy experiences like letting strangers to use the amenities which meant that I was booked out of using them altogether Thank you for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. And of course, don't forget to click subscribe.